everyone, welcome to my final project. And today I'm gonna present my machine learning model to predict a client can pay or cannot pay back a loan. And um, well, based on the COVID-19 crisis, uh, Vietnam credit reports forget that, but I could increase over 5.3% at the end of this year. And this consequence of issue could worsen banking individually and economic generally. So as a person have a finance background, I want to reduce this number to support banking system. And therefore, my final project is find out who is better and who is not better. And also is explain why the model have that decisions. So to reach this goal, I gone through four steps. The first step, I explore my data. My data have 221 columns in seven different tables with total 300,000 rows, and each row is stand for a single loan. And then I fill missing values, create some new feature, and balance data. Then I try some model to turning on the bus. And finally, I quantify my performance by using AUC metric. So, um, of course, clean, cleaning data and feature engineering is very important before bringing it to the model. So I have to do some data analysis and I find out some inside information. I divide all of my feature to two group is client background and credit history. For this background, we have gender, phone number, standard living, income source, and education degree. And you can see here, uh, for some research, it said that male have a tendency to take risks over the female. And that's why for the non pair male have a last proportion. And for who don't want to be called when you lay the due date, you definitely decline to give a phone number. And this, person, it have a large proportion of non-payer. Uh, income also reflects this potential of the repayment. And this will stand for for low standard living persons or unemployer maternity leave and who have a low education degree. So the background tell me that the potential of repayment of a client. What for credit history? Credit history tell me that whether something happened in the past could happen again in present. And here is the age of client at the time they apply this loan, not the age of client at present. And these black curve show me this is non-payer. And the big of the curve is at 13, which means that a person have around 13 years old, have a high tendency of fail to repay the loan. Uh, we also have a credit score, and credit score one is from the external one. My data have this feature as a reference to asset client's repayment. And this black curve also at the big of the lower score, which means that the lower score, the higher trend that you are non pair For credit score two and credit score three, it have the same pattern with credit score one. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, and I have uh, uh, plotted my data to the 3D charts to see how background and credit history clustering my label. The yellow stand for non-payer here, and these blue stand for payer. You can see here, we got a background and history and other feature helping in clustering these label. And the lower credit history the higher trend that you are non pair over here. So unfortunately, my data have two problems. Uh, uh, you can see here we got a missing data and imbalance classes. Uh, with uh, over 15 features that have retained to 17% of missing data, it reduced my statistical power. And with the 19.2% of payer over here, this make my model to predict bias toward to the majority class. So I have created a diagram to let everybody see the way that I solved the problem. With the data have or with the feature have under 10% of missing data, I will fit by mean 
or immediate. And the feature have a high correction with the label. I fill it by using LGBA model and the rest I drop it. For impalance classes, I try both oversampling and undersampling to find the best. And here's the result. With the oversampling, I run it based on LGBL model. And it tells me that 90% of non deforer didn't recognize. But with undersampling based on LGBL model, I got 70% of non defaulter So I, a non payer. So I keep going with undersampling data to my model. And uh, until now, you can see that uh, my project is about bi binary classification problem. So I have tried to all of try for strong classification and there are we have um yes we have KNN, this is season three random forest and light gbm and for the research i see that lgbm have a highest score on every performance metric so i keep going with a light gbm by using random search TV to turning on turning on this model and I got 77% of accuracy. This accuracy is quite close to the power champion. And if I have a time, I really want to read that score. Okay, so I have a very best model. I extract some feature important like credit score two, credit score three, or education degree. But I'm curious, uh, I'm curious like a single learn what feature make a decision. So I got a demo right here. Uh, with the loan have the uh, loan number two, I got the pair from the model and also pair from the true label. And this blue area here is the feature that make decision that person is pair. Uh, let I try some uh, another loan. I got 19 because of this is the age of my grandparents, grandfather. So, um, uh, wait a minute, because of my data quite huge. So, yeah, yeah, we got a murder take is a non player and the true labor is not there too. And this red area here show me that this feature make a decision that person is non player. Uh, what about this another case? Um, well, this case I chose because of it's quite conflict, confused. Like the model tech is like a pair, but the true is non pair. And uh, yeah, it's pair, the true is number, and you can see is uh, around 15%. This area is quite equal and the model have a little confused. So if you are panker, you can recheck detail of this feature of the clients to trust, trust me that's weak person that is pair or non pair. So I really hope that my model can have banking and also economic to reduce a lot of 70% at the end of this year. Okay, thank you for listening. <laughs>